What's up guys? Y'all know what time it is. It's Tactics Tuesday, and today we're going over a position reached by Gary Kasparov, arguably the greatest chess player of all time. It is black to play here, and Kasparov found a move that practically ends the game. If you'd like, you can pause the video and try to find the best move for black. Here Kasparov was playing against Alexander Nikitin in Moscow, and this game goes back nearly 40 years as it was played in 1981. This is probably the hardest puzzle I've posted onto the channel, and the idea is simply astounding. Trying to solve a puzzle is one thing, but I know there's a 0% chance I personally would find this move in a tournament game. This move just speaks to how great Kasparov was, and assuming you guys have had the chance to pause the video, the fascinating move Kasparov played here was rook e2. Now, what's the idea here? Well, as we can see, we're attacking the queen. And in the game, for some reason, rook e1 was played, and after rook takes f2, Nikitin resigned. But the main question after rook e2 is where does this queen go? I mean, all those escape scores are really gone, and the idea here is if queen takes e2, now the g3 square is not protected by the queen. And we have queen takes a2 check. And after knight takes h2, knight g3, checkmate, and the game's over. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Kasparov was intense, competitive, and elite in all areas of chess. White probably felt okay. But it's moves like Rook E2 that have solidified Kasparov as one of the greatest and most entertaining chess players we've ever seen. Go play some good chess, guys, and go have a good day. Thanks for watching today's video. If you'd like to watch another one, you can click or tap up here. And I've got a lot more high-quality chess content on the way. So if you'd like to subscribe, you can click or tap down here. I really appreciate your support.